what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i know i haven't uploaded the past couple of days because i've been really busy dealing with some stuff i tried a couple of things for the first time but right now i'm actually gonna show y'all um a pet tag that i am not done yet i have more than just two pets but the other two pets are in my parents house so and they're evil so i can deal with those so I have my two dogs, well my dog and my brother's dog. So here it goes. Miles might be still asleep, so I'm gonna get Harley first. And basically, I said this in a couple other videos, but she is actually almost a year old now. Um, this is gonna be her very first Christmas. Literally, we got her when she was four months old. Um, I think on my Snapchat stories, I think it said June. We got her back in June. So she is almost a year old. And she is a long-haired chihuahua. She is cute, but she's the devil. Literally, she's the devil. She is small. She's big for a chihuahua right now. And she's, and she's only been alive for almost a year. But... Behind her name Harley, um, her first name that my that I called her was Diva, cause she has I her she has black fur around her eyes and you can kind of tell, but she has black fur around her eyes to where it looks like she has a wing. So I called her Diva. My dad called her Diva, but then she wasn't answering to Diva. So then we started pulling out other names. Because she's been acting, she acts so crazy when she meets new people or when she misses you. She acts so crazy. So we started throwing out the name Harley and she started answering. So she is named after Harley Quinn. Which is pretty weird. I don't know why she, she might be tired. And at night, she literally, because I don't let her sleep in her kennel right now because it has been cold here. I let her out on my bed to sleep she either goes underneath the blanket with me and curls up into a ball right next to me or she goes on to in between the pillows she curls up into a ball and make sure that she has one paw literally hitting laying right next to my face and the paw that she's laying with it's pretty weird so all of her claws are black except for two of them I have to find the paw. So if you can tell from right here, these are her non-black claws. See, look, all her other claws are black. Literally, all the rest of them are black. But she's a very weird dog. She's cute. Um, but when we first got her, my eyes, because she started sleeping in my room, because she was my mom's dog, and then she migrated to be my brother's dog she had to sleep in my room i didn't want her to but um frankly the person that we got her from i guess the person yeah the person we got her from the person we got her from was smoking like smoking our cigarettes and that smell got onto her and my eyes became really irritated, so I had to give her a bath at 2 o'clock in the morning to, in order for me to fall asleep. And next thing I know, I fall back asleep after giving her a bath, and I'm perfectly fine. I fall asleep perfectly fine. So that... Ow! Demon dog. So that is basically Harley. She also had her th first Thanksgiving with us. So that's really cool. She literally curls back into a ball. Next is Miles, who's asleep in his kennel. No, no, he's not asleep. But guys, this is Miles. And he's a little bit different right now because I got him shaved. I did not want to get him shaved. Because it is winter, it is December, I did not want to get him shaved. But his fur was getting really bad. Because we had not shaven him since May since May 21st. 
because we got him shaved after I graduated. So it was when my sister was here where we went to go take him to my sister's friend who cuts dogs for, for us. So he hasn't had a haircut in about June, July, August, September, October, November, December. In seven months, he was my big fat fluff ball. And oh my god! And when we w we went to take him to somewhere else to someone else to Pet Sense, and he kept biting the groomer. He kept finding her because he's not used to other people doing it. And he, I guess she was rough with him. And he really didn't like it. So all that she left on him was his head fur and a couple of his paws so I had fur on it and his underbelly. Because I guess every time she tried to shave his butt, someone would sit down. Every time. And we then decided to go ahead and take him back to, to my sister's friend to get him shaved. And she gave him a little scarf. It's a little Christmas tree scarf. And he's so cute. But Miles, this is his first Christmas with us. Um, we got him back in January. So we got him after Christmas last year. So we got him January this year. January 11th. And he is the most amazing dog. He was my parent, he was my grandparents dog. And then I got him, and he's my baby, and I love him so, so, so much. But we named him Miles after, okay, so if y'all don't know, probably none of you know this, but um, we, my family, we are big fat Bronco fans, like different Bronco fans, and the name of the Bronco mascot is Miles the Bronco. So we named him after the Bronco mascot. Miles the Bronco. And we love him so much. He looks so different with fur and without fur. I'm not kidding. He looks completely different with fur and without fur. And I love him so much. And when we got him at a year and six months, we he is now two years old. Yeah, he is now two years old. And I am so, so, so happy to have him back. I'm wanting to get another dog or a cat of my own from either the shelter where we got Miles and where we got, not obviously didn't say Harley, but no, we didn't get Harley from the shelter, from a shelter. She has her ears up. Legitimately, she has her ears up and you can't see her because of my TV. But basically, okay, I'll just leave it at that. But look at how big this dog is. We, we know he's a Maltese, but he's mixed with something else. And oh my god, we have no idea what he's mixed with. My mom said he's probably mixed with a Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Can't say. What? What? Can you give mommy a kiss? Okay. But I will be spoiling my dog for Christmas. They already have their own ornaments, which I put in one of my Walmart hauls. I got him and I got him an ornament, and I got Harley an ornament. So I'm, I didn't let them see them because they are letters, and they are do have glitter, and they're loose glitter. So. And I have loose glitter all over my room because of them. And I got them from all of them. It doesn't matter. But if you see, he is so big. But he is the cutest, one of the cutest dogs I have ever had. And the dog I'm thinking about getting him as a sibling, because he used to have a sibling. He had a cat named Pearl. Yes, this is what Miles does. He literally claws up to her ear just so that he can hang, because he thinks he's a neck dog. He thinks he's a lap dog, and yeah, he basically has grown twice a, twice as large since we got him. Cause he was he was never this big. He's not this big. Like on camera, he looks humongous, but in real life, 
He's humongous. But basically, um, when we lost um, Pearl, my cat, that was his sister, that was his sibling. Um, even though she was a cat, um, they would always play together. When Pearl got pissed at him, actually, she would hit him with her paw, and it was so cute and hilarious. I loved both of my animals. But then Pearl was taken away from us, taken away from me. Someone took off her collar, and then two days later, that same person probably took her as well. We checked all the shelters, like mainly the shelter we got her from, pretty much any shelter that shows that... Um, we have a missing animal. I called every shelter because I got that scared that I knew someone took her in. So if anybody takes her into the vet, she is chipped. He is chipped. She is about to be chipped and fixed because he is fixed. But um, the second they do a, a scan read on her chip, they're immediately going to call my grandma. And my grandma's immediately going to call me. I get in the car with my grandma, we go straight to wherever she is, and I go and beat down the person for taking my cat. But I have also come to the conclusion that she may have passed away, someone may have run over, but I don't like believing that. So basically, Miles will very soon have a sibling. Harley is not his sibling, that is his cousin. Miles will be getting either a Pomeranian sibling or a Pitbull sibling. I want a pit bull again. I love, I la 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 love my pit bulls. That's what I grew up having, and I love pit bulls. My first two dogs ever were pit bulls, and I absolutely love them to death. But I'm actually going to get a blue nose pit, and if they have no pomeranians, I really want a pomeranian. But I have a feeling Miles is gonna gonna try and hump it, and I will be getting Miles either a sister. Yeah, I, ha I have to get him a sister. But if I get him, yeah, I'm going to have to get him a pit bull. So long. Huh. But if I, if they don't have the pit bull I want, I will also be getting a cat. Which he will also learn to love. Because I will be either getting another calico cat. Or I'll be getting, there's a cat at Pet Sense. Which was a kitten, and it was so cute. It's a little fluff ball kitten, a gray kitten, and it is so adorable. You are freaking heavy. Miles, you are so heavy. You are heavier than heart. He's only looking at me because I taste like food, because I had food. If you look at the background, there's Cheez-Its. I was eating Cheez-Its. And he has learned that he wants to eat Rice Krispie Treats, and the only Rice Krispie Treats I have are the cocoa ones, and he can't eat them. <laughs> Miles, stay down. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, and... <laughs> Miles! Okay, come here. Come to Mommy. Come to Mommy. What are you doing? But look at this little face. Miles, look up. Look at you, Vane. You're so cute. And he's gonna lay on the bed. Because that is my dog. But, I think now I'm gonna zoom you all in. But basically, we also have two other animals. I do not know their breeds. The only cat breed I knew was a calico cat. Because I had a gray calico that was Pearl. She was a gray calico. But lately, I've been kind of getting suspicious because I keep seeing people with cats that look exactly like Pearl. Exactly like Pearl. Like when we went to the shelter to go get her shots in order to get her ready to get um, fixed. Um, as we were there, there was a cat, a lady with a cat. And the cat looked exactly like Pearl, but we knew that if that was Pearl, they would have called us before. So, I I keep seeing these gray calico cats that look exactly like my cat. And also, my one of my sister's friends, who's technically, we consider her also my sister. 
Um, she recently got a cat bed that's, again, exactly like Pearl. But I know one test to make sure is Pearl is if she answers to the name Pearl, that's her. But I have the feeling, because Pearl liked to wander, if she walked all the way over there, because... Wait a minute. Because I used to live on Yeso and where my where my um, sister's friend lives she lives on Sanger that's a pretty long walk but I do have that feeling that Pearl did go over there and I know for a fact that the second they let that cat out if she kills a bird and she has no phone calls to Pearl and um, our other cat, Vito, who is the demon in the skies. And she's my dad's cat. My dad will protect that cat for everything. He will protect her. But basically, her and, her, and um, Pearl. Hey! Get away from me. Basically, her and Vito have no front claws. They literally have no front claws because we got those paws fixed. Those claws fixed. Because my parents kept getting, my grandparents kept getting mad because where the cats were first were at was at my grandma's business because she's a resident manager, and she would call up everyone. What are you doing, dragging yourself on my bed? Do you want to get me? Okay. But, basically, if she, my cat was a complete savage. She was literally a savage when she was, okay, when we had her. She would kill birds with no front claws. She would, literally, big fat pigeons, she would kill. She killed two crawls that I know of. My cat has killed so many animals. I don't even know how many she actually did. I've seen her kill mice. I've seen her kill birds. Well, on the verge of killing a bird. Because when we were on our way home one day, um, we pull into our driveway of my old house. We pull in. Pearl was an outdoor cat. Let her out in the mornings before all this stuff happened to where she was taken. And she saw her collar on. We basically looked... I went to go open the door to go unlock it. I turn to my my left and I see my cat killing a little those little tiny birds. Those little tiny birds, not the baby birds, but the little tiny birds. I saw her killing one of those. And I was like, Pearl, what are you doing? That was my cat. My cat again was a pure savage. She had no front claws. She basically climbed on top of everything. She will climb up our tree. Our tree at my old house on Yeso was the oldest, is still the oldest tree to be in Hobbs. And we've only had, and that tree has only ever, when we lived there, the only bad thing that happened that involved the tree was one of the branches fell off and we are so glad it did not fall on anybody. Cause obviously it's a tree. And it's at the corner of the street. And it went, it literally broke off because it was raining and I guess it was lightning really bad. So I guess lightning struck and it broke the branch. And this happened after my mom took me to school. Um, I think it was my sophomore year or my junior year. No, it was my senior year when it happened. Where in the morning, Nothing happened, and then I go to school. My mom takes my brother to school because I had to be there super early. My brother gets there later. As they're taking Bubba to school, there's a branch in the road, and it's from our tree. So they had to drive all the way around. So that was fun. And Pearl would climb up that tree every single day. I would try to go out and get her. Now, the smartest thing about Pearl was... Um, when she was tired, when it was cold, or when it was too hot, 
um, and it was at night, she would always come up to my door because I also had a door to the front, to outside in the front yard. I would always hear meow, meow, meow. I would hear her scratching on my air conditioner. I would hear her banging on my window where my air conditioner was. I open my, I obviously open my window and I see her going like this and looking around saying, Mommy, okay. So I quickly open the door and I let her in. But one time when she was coming in, a mouse, I don't know if it came out of my room, I really hope it didn't, but there was a mouse that either came out of my room or was from outside, and I went, Beep! and she ran after it, and she killed it, and then she came right back. <laughs> not with the mouse in her mouth, thank God, because I would not have let her in if she brought the mouse into my room. You good? You done? Okay. And then I let her in. But also where you used where we used to live, I guess because I was the only girl and any time that me and my brothers were ever home alone and my parents were gone, this is one of the times where both my parents were gone and, and it was at night, someone literally tried to break into our house. And where and in my old room, I would always move my bed around. And I had a twin size bed because my room wasn't big enough to have a full size, and I missed my full size, so I'm happy I have this bed now. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <coughs> but basically, obviously, I still have my air conditioner right there, and I always have a crack of my window to where I can kind of see outside, but people can't see and I can see outside. As I'm laying on my bed, I'm on my phone, I glance up and I see a dude literally walking up to our house and also in our house there were these we had glass windows and glass doors to where it looked like you could get in because some of them were shot with like BB guns where you can easily just put your hand in and open a window and you can get in and when Harley my help Miles, sit. Come here. Come on, mommy. Okay, fine then. Don't come to mommy. Look at him. All you can see is his head. Oh, you know. You can see his body too. But, um, as I'm watching this guy, I guess. <coughs> Miles, it was Harley. Harley started shaking her. Sit. Scratching herself against the door and someone's like someone's knocking. Miles barks when people knock. So, yay. Miles! Miles, don't make me get out the squeaky toy. Okay. But I had to, because my room was in the front, I hated sleeping in my room at night because, ever since that happened. And we also had drones mm -hmm. flying over our house. Mm -hmm. And it was so weird that we had drones flying over our house mm -hmm. at night. It was only at night when all this stuff would happen. And the good thing was, um, I always saw, I saw the cars that would try to go in, that would try to break into our house. I would always see the cars. And my dumb ass would never take a picture or record it because I was scared because I knew that if I recorded it I would start cussing and my dad would get pissed at me but then then again I don't know Miles wants out no no you go with a little baby hmm. but just realized I went on a rant, turned on from my pet tag to start up my cat and then started up my house. So, yay. But basically, um, that's it for this week's video. I'm so sorry I've not uploaded in the past couple of days. I've been really, really busy. I've been doing stuff that I haven't done before and I just needed couple of days off something bad happened to me where I had to not the only 
social media I ever posted on was my um, Snapchat. If you have me on Snapchat, Miles, do not bark when mommy is making a video, okay? Thank you. Basically, that is it for this week's video. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully, next. Hopefully next week. Hopefully the next video I do will be a makeup tutorial. Um, but that probably won't be posted till after Friday because I have to. Hey, shut up. But basically, um, I have to get some, I'm taking this idea from, I think it was Devin Ludley, I don't know if I'm saying her last name right, but Devin Ludley, Corey Shear's girlfriend, I saw a post that she did on her Snapchat, because I have her on Snapchat, I saw a post that she did of her makeup tutorial, how she did her eyes, and it was so, so, so gorgeous, it was like green up here. The, cre the crease was painted um, with gold shimmer and then the inner corner and then the lid was painted with red eyeshadow. And underneath was a red eyeshadow. And it was so, so gorgeous. And I'm buying me my um, false lashes. I'm buying me, I think another thing of nails or probably not. Because both of my nails broke off. Both sets of my nails broke off. He literally just took out his toy. Hmm. But, um, I will be tape. I'm gonna try and find the photo. I'm gonna try and find the photo of her, of that post. Because I'm gonna kind of go off of that, but kind of make my own version. And I have to also find a red gloss. That's what I need to do. So those are little hints. I also have to buy me some new um, mascara. Finally, I need to buy me a full size thing of mascara. Because I've, I've had every other mascara except for the new Wen Wild ones. So I need to try the new Wen Wild one. And I guess I will see you guys on the next one. So be looking forward to that video. Miles, mommy is making a video. Will you shut it, please? Thank you. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one.